Mazuma TV back with another video. All right, guys, this is something that I felt like talking about today. Um, I went on, I decided to go on a different uh, website because uh, Boxing Scene didn't really, really have anything I really wanted to talk about. So I went on boxingnewsonline.net, shout out to them. And they put out something interesting that I saw today. And um, and it was something that I didn't even know of. Roberto Duran, one of the greatest lightweights ever, if y'all don't know who he is. Just a brief summary. Fought Wilfred Benitez, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Tommy Hearns, and so on. Um, had a pretty pretty good career. And he put out an autobiography. Is this something that I did not know? Definitely going to look into it and try to purchase the book somehow. But from what this article is saying by John Denon, shout out to John Denon, he talks about, he pretty much is giving a summary on his autobiography. And he's, ta he's talking about his life in Panama and um, all of the personal experiences that he went through, just like a regular autobiography would have. And he goes straight into boxing because, you know, that was a big part of his career. This is what he's known for. And um, at one point in the autobiography, he said, when I retire, when, <clears throat> excuse me, when I retired, I would gladly have beaten the crap out of all of the deadbeats in the sport. The same goes with the boxers today. Pacquiao, Mayweather, they're pitiful. I would have beaten them all. So, you know, Roberto Duran always been an outspoken person. If you guys follow him. If you guys follow his career, he definitely was talking that shit to Sugar Ray Leonard. And even though Sugar Ray Leonard didn't understand Spanish, he still found a way to get into Ray Leonard's head. Um, just to go to show how good of a trash talker Roberto Duran is. And um, he still has that competitive spirit in him, obviously. So, um, you know, my personal take on it is uh, that may, he probably would have beat Pacquiao, but I mean, it's realistic. I mean, I don't know, man. Roberto Duran, it's hard to speak on fighters from different eras because we'll never see them fight, so we'll never know. So I'm not definitely 100% sure on how it would go. But just based off of Roberto Duran's uh, career, how he quit when Ray Leonard started to outbox the shit out of him and uh, Wilfred Benitez was able to outbox the shit out of him. So it's like with, with those high-level skill fighters and Wilfred Benitez and Ray Leonard they share a commonality and the ability to um outbox their opponents and that's exactly what Floyd does so in my personal opinion realistically I believe Floyd would beat Roberto Duran successfully now a lot of people be like oh what about uh Roberto Duran's power and people say this as if Mayweather has never faced power punchers at all. Like, if anything, he ref Mayweather had faced quality power punchers throughout his entire career, going from Diego Corrales to Castillo to fucking Canelo to Cotto. Um, if you guys want to throw... I mean, Andre Berto has a high knockout percentage, so we might as well throw him in there too. So little things like that... Um, it takes more than power to win a fight, man. That's all I'm saying. And um, realistically, I don't even know why. Realistically, I just see Mayweather beating Duran. Um, but anyways, I don't see why Roberto Duran doesn't give credit to these guys. He always belittles people. I mean, I've seen interviews where this guy talking about he knocking out cows and shit. And uh, he's always, he always, there's always some negative shit when it comes to Mayweather, and I don't understand why. A lot of these legends are jealous, and I mean, that's just my personal take on it. Um, I know I'm pretty sure that people in the comic section would agree, I mean, would either agree or disagree, but that's just what I think, and I just don't know, man. I, I really, I, shit, it's hard to say whether uh, Roberto Duran is right or wrong, because we'll never know, but it just is what it is, man. That's just his personal opinion on it. Can't really hate on him, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I thought it was pretty interesting, and I want to see what y'all guys think about it. But until then, let me know what y'all guys think. As always, um, subscribe to Mazuma TV. This is Mazuma TV, and we out here.